we can identify this group of go verbs and expect them to go to ga when they are in the subjunctive or the mood tense. So I leave from salir is salgo. Salgo. And if I want to tell somebody leave uh, formally, salga. Salga. And if I want to tell more than one person, salgan. Good. And if I want to tell them don't leave, no salgan. No salgan. Good. Poner was to put. I put. Pongo. Pongo. Good. Let's speak formally. Put it here. Put it here. Lo ponga aquí. And where does that lo go with positive commands? Póngalo aquí. Good. Póngalo aquí. But don't put it here. No lo ponga aquí. Very good. No lo ponga aquí. We saw with regular verbs that we have a shortcut where we don't use the mood tense for informal positive commands. So if I want to tell you to eat, I can just say come. I go to comes and I drop the S. Come. If I want to tell you to find it, I can go to encontrar, encuentras. I can drop the S, encuentralo. That's our shortcut for informal positive commands where we don't use the mood tense. With these go verbs, to make that shortcut, you just drop the go. Uh, so, for example... How do you say I have from tener? Tengo. Tengo. If you want to tell somebody informally have, you just drop the go. Ten. Ten. Have it. Tenlo. Yes, tenlo. So we don't see tenka. For formal. But we're now looking at the shortcut that we have for informal. So how would you say have it speaking formally? Tengalo. Tengalo, but informally we're not using the mood tense. We have a shortcut, it's just different to the shortcut we learned before. The shortcut is just dropping the go, tenlo. A nice way to remember this is how you will see people in many Spanish speaking countries answering the phone. Either digame, formally, or dime, informally. What is I come? Tengo. And how do you tell somebody formally to come? Venga. Venga. Now, how would you make it informal? Ben. Ben. Good. So, I should mention that the venga that you hear in Spain as come on is not necessarily formal. It's lost that feeling of formality because it's like a fixed expression. So, venga, venga, you hear all the time. And then ben will sound much more like come, physically come, rather than come on. Venga, venga, venga is used like, come on. What was to leave or to go out? Salir. Salir. I leave or I go out? Salgo. Salgo. Leave, speaking informally? Sal. Sal. We can just drop the go. I say or I tell is digo. If you want to say tell me formally, how is it? Dígame. Dígame. If you want to make that same command informally, how will it be? Ti, dime. Dime, good. So both things you hear when people answer the phone in Spain. Dime, digame. And in other countries, in other Spanish-speaking countries as well. So for go verbs, they will go to ga to form the mood tense. And for the orders, the shortcut for the informal positive order, they will just drop this go. So, if you want to say, tell me when you come, speaking informally, how would that be? Dime, cuando vengas. Good. After cuando, we're using the mood tense because we're referring to the future. Dime cuando vengas. Tell me when you come. How would you say, tell me when you do it? And let's speak formally now. Tell me when you do it, speaking formally. Dígame cuánto lo haga. Very good. Dígame cuándo lo haga. Good. 